Hello, my name is Jian Li. I am a postdoc at Northwestern University. In this video, I would like to introduce you our recent published paper in Biotechnology and Bioengineering. The title is Establishing a High Yielding Streptomycin Based Cell Free Protein Synthesis System. In this work, we aim to develop a cell free system for the expression of high GC content genes. To this end, we choose the streptomycin species as our target strains because streptomycin strains have high GC content genomes. They are featured by many complex natural products, for example, the antibiotic biosynthetic gene clusters. To establish a system for expressing GC rich genes is important because, in the future, with this system, people can easily express the high GC content biosynthetic gene clusters from streptomycin for the natural products synthesis in a cell-free environment. This system is highly open and controllable, allowing for easy manipulation, monitoring, sampling, and optimization. Among numerous streptomycin strains, we choose the streptomycin lividens as our initial strain. Since this strain has been widely used for in vivo heterologous protein expression. In addition, we used the codon optimized EGFP as a report protein. In order to make the cell light set, we grew the cells to its exponential phase, followed by cell collection, disruption, and clarification. Then, we assembled the cell free protein synthesis reaction in a tube and optimized various parameters. After optimization, we achieved the EGFP yield of more than 50 microgram per mil in a batch reaction, which was further increased to nearly 300 microgram per mil with a semi-continuous reaction after 48 hours. With this optimized system, we also expressed the four GC-rich genes that are involved in the non-ribosome peptide biosynthesis. Our results indicate that the percent solubility of all four proteins was notably higher as compared to the E. coli-based cell-free system, showing promise for soluble expression of high GC content genes. In addition, we applied the cell-free system to other streptomycin strains and found that all cell extracts of the tested strains were active to produce the report protein. To summarize, in this work, we established a high-yielding streptomycin-based cell-free protein synthesis system. Looking forward, we believe that our system will contribute significantly to express complex natural product gene clusters, providing a new avenue for obtaining and studying natural product biosynthesis pathways. With that, I would like to thank you for watching this video abstract. If you have any questions or comments, Please feel free to contact us via email address that provided in the paper. Happy reading! Thank you!